All right. Hello, everybody. It's me, the Italian Gamer Joe. Welcome back to another stream of Final Fantasy VIII. It's been a hot minute since I streamed last. Um, a lot has happened since we last played, and I'm excited to jump right back in. So, um, the last time that we played, um, I believe there was... We, we went to Adea to talk to her about Renoa, because Renoa became a sorceress, and Renoa decided to stay... Okay, we're live. Um, so, basically, there's some stuff going on. There is some stuff, and we have to basically... Figure out what to do next right now. Okay. Um, who, do I, who do I have on my team right now? Renoa, Squall, and Zell. Okay. So, now that we have the group here, we have to go to Eshtar, I believe, to... Uh, we have to go to Eshtar, I think, to see what happened. Um, it's been a while since I've played, so I'm trying to like catch myself up. Eshtar Air Station, Lunar Gate... Okay, so I think where we need to go next is the Lunatic Pandora Laboratory, maybe? It's been a hot minute since I played this, so I have to, like, jump back in and remember, like, oh yeah, this is what I'm supposed to do. Um, so, let's see. I miss being on the college campus where it was like, ding, 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 hot dogs are served in the cafeteria. Hot dogs are served in the cafeteria. I don't get to do that anymore, so now I can just because the ship is like, it's like, it's like we have, we're in a spaceship now, so like I can't do the same thing that I used to do. Maybe I'll think of something new, like ding, 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 ding. Uh, hot dogs are served in the ship kitchen. I don't know. I gotta think of something better. It's been a while since I've like grinded for EXP. So, like, enemies are probably a lot stronger now. Not really. I'm still pretty, like, ridiculously strong. Okay. Um, before I go any further, I gotta check something real quick. I gotta see what my internet is. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, hopefully I won't disconnect again like last time. Um, okay. So... Just doing some other quick, um, some other quick stuff. Okay, so right now I'm kind of just walking around, trying to figure out where to go next, and I, hmm, I know that we're needed in Eschar. I just don't know where in Eschar we're needed. So I'm just running around trying to figure out next where to go. Um, let's see. We're going to go back to F-Zero City. I call this F-Zero City because this entire city looks like something you'd see like on Super Nintendo. Uh, where they're like... Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, gosh. I just realized that we're going back to the city of elevators. So this is going to be a very interesting experience. You literally take an elevator to get to the city. That's how intense it is. Okay, so if you hear the music in the background, the music you're hearing right now is military music. Um, like, where's the lifter? When is it coming? Uh oh! Looks like the city of elevators is now the city of no elevators. Oh, and the 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 shops are like different. Everything looks like closed. We went shopping here a few streams ago and yeah, like is Cheryl's store still closed? Yeah. All right. Well, we used to we, used, we went shopping here a while ago and now it's like completely everything just looked so abandoned. Who what's that girl over there doing? No, no shopping. 
we're not here to shop today. Wah! I'm scared. Squaw. It's okay. I'll make it go away. R really? Yeah, so stop crying and go hide. Okay. Alright, just... Okay. Um... What does he have to say? Ugh. Yeah, like... So, I wonder if the... I wonder what happened. Like, if there's... There has to be something here, like, that we have to... We can do. The elevator is completely jammed. People in this town are, like... Completely just... Freaking out. What are we to do? It's so funny, too, because, like... This is a town that's, like... Well, not like at least at least uh, not all letters are broken. <laughs> um, it's just so interesting because this is a town that like is so futuristic and so like built upon that concept of being this ultra futuristic, ultra like this place that's just indestructible, and then all of a sudden it gets destroyed or taken down, and it's like what what happened? What <laughs> this is crazy. You have permission. Please this way. Can we go through here? I'm guessing we have to talk to someone through here. Um, the president is waiting. At least we're in the right spot. I think. Oh yeah. Okay. I remember now. So we're going to talk to Kiros. And Kiros is the guy that we've been seeing in the past. Um question though is is where is the president and i went there and didn't you said the president was waiting but like i don't understand okay the president's waiting but that's not is this a, is this a door like i don't think this is a door mm, you can't go there and that door over there that looks like it's blocked Unless it's not blocked. Unless it's just part of the hallway. No, yeah, it's completely blocked. Um, I'm very confused right now. Like, this is not... And he just said the president's waiting. Okay. So, like, I know he's waiting, but, like, where is he waiting? Like, I, I'm a little confused about that. Is it... Do we have to go this way, perhaps? Is this where we have to go? Like, is this where the president is? Okay, maybe this... We weren't allowed to go through her last time, so maybe this is the right way. Ward. Kiros. And that's probably... Oh my god, is this really what it is? Is that really... Oh, no way. Oh my god. What is up with this country? Ward it says nothing. Oh, sure. Hey there. Is that who I think it is? Been wanting to meet you guys. You guys are the ones who were inside my head, right? Elone told me. It was like there were some kind of waves running through my head. They gave us so much power during battle. We thought there were some kind of fairies flying over us. So I'm Laguna, President Laguna, Loyar of Estar. Pleased to meet ya. Guys, this is this is crazy. We're actually meeting the futuristic versions of these people. That's this is this is this is a viral moment, podcast moment, or uh Twitch moment. This is crazy. We're actually meeting them. If we weren't in a state of emergency, I'd talk to you some more, but well, whatever. Let's talk. What do you want to know? Kiros, you'll never get going if President Laguna keeps talking. <laughs> so why don't you guys throw out some questions and he'll try to answer them. This is crazy. He looks like he's like, he looks older. He has a little belly growing. He, like, he's like a dad bod. He has like a nice little dad bod going. He's like, and then look at the other two guys. Like they look so different now. Like, wow, this is crazy. 
Laguna. Man, you look way too serious. Squall. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, explain the mission to defeat Ultimeshia. Laguna. Ah, straight to the heart of the matter. Just like a workaholic seed. Is it my turn? Oh, we got uh him again. Yeah, make it short and easy to understand. I have to change to my Dr. Odin voice. I will talk whatever I want. <laughs> yeah. Sorceress Adea told me everything. Sorceress Ultimeshia comes from the future to possess the sorceress present day. Meaning she leaves her body in the future and only sends her consciousness here. Does that sound familiar to you? It's like when Elone sent our consciousness back to the past. You're a smart one. My first guess was that someone in the future with an ability like Elone was sending the sorceress back into our time. But no, that is not the answer. So how does the sorceress come back to this time? You want to hear how? Of course we want to hear how. Ugh. <laughs> I kept this a secret to surprise you. It is because of me, Odin. I researched Elone's power long ago. I made a pattern from the electric current running through Elone's brain. Once the pattern was determined, it was easy to mechanicize. It may be only a toy right now, but in the time of Ultimeshia, it is an impressive working machine. Which means there is a machine which imitates Elone's power. It is I who makes the first model of that machine. I named the machine Junction Machine Alone. It is a wonderful thing to know my invention is used in the easy future. Junction Machine Alone, Pantalone. That's about it. So Sorceress Ultimeshia came to know Alone from that machine, and L became Ultimeshia's target. Oh wait, this is Laguna. You can't blame Odin, it's useless. You want to go outside? You want to fist cuffs? Okay, we continue the story. Let's see. There is only one way to defeat Altamesia. You must kill her in the future. There is no nothing we can do unless we go to the future. There is no way to jump to the future under normal circumstances. But there is a way. It is because Sorceress Ultimeshia plans to compress time. Compressing time with the magic. What good will it do for the Sorceress to compress time? There may be many reasons, but it does not matter. Let's just figure out what Ultimeshia is what to. In order for Ultimeshia to exist in this time, she must take over the body of a Sorceress from the present. But the machine must have a limit. Ultimeshia probably needs to go back further in time to achieve time compression. Only Elone can take her back further into the past. That is why she is desperately seeking her. We must take advantage of Elone's power. There are two sorceresses in our time. Sorceress Rinona, Rino, Rinoa and Sorceress Adele. Of the two, Adele has not awakened yet. Once regeneration is completed, neither Laguna nor I will be Zeph. Sorceress Adele is probably in the process of waking, awakening inside Lunatic Pandora. Ultimeshia will want to possess Adele if Adele wakes up. That will be a horrible event. Adele is a horrible sorceress. If Adele's consciousness wins over Ultimeshia, Adele will first destroy this era. So we must use Sorceress Renoa to inherit Ultimeshia's powers. That's all for the mission briefing. First, go to Lunatic Pandora. Elon Alone is probably being held captive inside, so rescue her first. Then, kill Sorceress Adele before the awakening process is completed. Now, we're left with Renoa as the only sorceress of this era. Then, wait for Ultimeshia to possess Renoa. When Ultimeshia arrives, it's Elone's turn. Elone will send Renoa back to the past with Ultimeshia. Elone will have to send Rinoa and Ultimeshia inside another sorceress she knows in the past. Edea or Adele? That's up to Elone. Once Ultimeshia is in the past, she'll use the time compression magic. We will see some influence here. I don't know that kind of influence, but once Elone feels it, she'll cut Rinoa and Ultimeshia off from the past. 
Renoa will come back to this world. Ultimeshia will also go back to her own world. Vat would be left in the time compressed world. Past, present, future will all get mixed together. You will keep moving through the time compression towards the future. Once you're out of the time compression, that will be Ultimeshia's world. It's all up to you after that. <laughs> Alright, that was... That was a lot. That was a lot to process. I... I... Don't know what the hell I'm just hearing right now. Like... <laughs> Alright, well... Uh, can we just go get hot dogs instead? Like, just some hot dogs in Starbucks. Oh my gosh. Squall, I feel for you, man. Like, this is... It, it, it started off as like, Alright, I'm excited. I'm gonna be a seed. I'm gonna go on missions. And now it's like, Alright, now we gotta go in the past to go to the future to, d to kill a sorceress, to, make a, to p have her possess someone, to have her cut her off and then to, to to do some other stuff like what the hell oh my gosh i have some really close friends uh and people in my life that have played this game and it's so funny hearing them like say how like this is one of their favorite Final fantasy games and how cool it is and i'm just sitting here like this is a lot to take in this is a lot to process <laughs> oh man laguna so you were briefed about the mission? I don't really understand it either. Well, that makes two of us, Laguna. Will you do it? <laughs> Will you do it? Please. Because I can't do it. I can't. Yes, I'll do it. All right. Let's go. We'll get aboard the Ragnarok. Oh, I wanted to ask him more questions. I should have done that one first. <laughs> Oops. Let's do the final briefing in there. I always wanted to ride that thing. Plus, the name sounds so cool. Oh, Kuros and uh, uh, Ward are coming with us. Cool. Laguna. All right. Everyone. From here, we go straight to our final target, Altamechia. Let's go over the plan again. First, enter Lunatic Pandora and rescue Elone. Next, you fight Sorceress Adele. It'll be a surprise attack, show no mercy. Now, here comes the tricky part. Adele will need to pass on her own powers before being defeated. Renoa, will you be willing to accept them? Renoa's like, I can accept the call. <laughs> I, I'm just imagining like Adele being like, transfer please. And Adele's like, please hold. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for the transfer to happen now. <laughs> Yes, I will be your operator. I will be the operator. The ultimate sorceress operator. That will be me. Yes. Laguna, good. Next, we wait for sorceress Ultimeshia to possess Renoa. This will be hard for you, Renoa. Will you do it? Yes. The way I plan to do it is have Adele listen to my call line and say, Welcome to Renoa's possession service. For English, press 1. For Spanish, press 2. For any other language, press 5. Welcome. For Possession to Renoa, press 1. To speak to the operator, press 0. And I'm just imagining, like, Sorcerer Del being like... Alright, I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know why I'm comparing Possession to a, hot, a call line. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> that's the spirit. Then, Alone sends Renoa and Ultimeshia to the past. Alone brings Renoa back. Then, head to the future through compressed time. Ultimeshia lives far in the future where none of us can technically exist. There's only one way to make yourself exist in a world like that. As friends, we don't forget one another. As friends, believe in one another. Believe in your friend's existence and they'll also believe in yours. To be friends, to like one another. Oh, to be friends, to like one another, to love one another. You can't do these things alone. You need somebody. Right, guys? What place reminds you of your friends? Imagine being in that place with all your friends. 
Once time compression begins, think of that place and try to get there, that's all. That place will welcome you. You'll be able to get in there no matter what period you're in. You need love and friendship for this mission, and courage to believe it. It's all about love, friendship, and courage. I'm counting on you guys. Love and friendship and all that sounds corny, but everyone seems to be up for it. You think it'll succeed? We'll try. This is beginning to remind me of like Kingdom Hearts related like lingo. I don't know why. Like, it's just it's it's very like it, I just get that vibe so much now from this. All right, looks like we're back. So we're gonna have to go to Lunatic Pandora, I think, next. And I'm not sure where that is. Is it here? No, is it here? That's the live. That's the laboratory. But I don't think that's Lunatic Pandora. I could be wrong though. Um. Have we gone to Lunatic Pan I don't even know. I'm not sure where it is. Um, is it here, perhaps? Let's take a look. I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't think it is. Okay. Um, ding, 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 ding. Breakfast is being served in the ship's cafeteria. Breakfast is being served in the ship's cafeteria. The breakfast is sausage. Lots and lots of sausage. Because we don't have hot dogs. Alright, I have no idea where I'm going. I have no clue where I'm going. All I know is we're trying to get to... We're trying to get to... Lunatic Pandora, I think? Which, I... I'm gonna look this up real quick. Where is Lunatic Pandora? Where is Lunatic Pandora? Wait a minute. Yeah, am I in the right spot? Let me look at the walkthrough. Okay, so... We did that. We did all that. Uh, I'm just looking at a walkthrough real quick to see like where we have to go next because I really don't know where to go next. Okay, so we got the Ragnarok, we did all that. Yas. Okay. We did that. Okay. So we did that. Make your way over to Estar and continue the story once more. You can actually land on the roof portion of Estar Air Station to save yourself from walking. Oh wow, good to know. Good to know. I should have known. You can now encounter monsters while walking in SJR. The monsters are easy to defeat. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Head over to the Residential Palace. Okay, we did that. We talked about everything. If you head over to Lucic Pandora, you can continue the game. Otherwise, you may want to continue look into completing the following side quests. Click on the side quests. Um... I think we could hold off doing these side quests because I don't really, I don't think it's a big deal. If you head over to Luthic Tower, you can continue the game. Otherwise, you may want to continue. So my question is, where is Luthic Pandora? Okay, let's see. Floating over Terror's Point on the map. Just fly the ship directly into it to continue the story. Terror's Point. Where is Terror's Point? Tears Point? Terror's Point? Taz Point. Hmm. Where are you, Terror's Point? Um, no. 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 Maybe. No. <laughs> no. No. Oh, there's Tears Point. Okay. Let's do this. We got this. Ding, 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 ding. More sausage is being served in the cafeteria. More sausage is being served. This has to be... Oh, it's the giant elevator! We're going to the giant elevator. Zell, here we go. Let's... 
almost in there. Quistus, I wonder if we can get through. You know what, Quistus? Stop it. Stop it. Irvine. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. Are the machine guns and the main cannon ready? Ready. Ready. Selfie. Let's just fire like crazy and make a big hull. Boom! Reminds me of, uh... Uh, in Drag Race, I'm like, BAM! Okay. Plus it's Mateo, I should say. Oh my gosh, there's a force field. Irvine, shields! Woohoo! That cutscene looked very suggestive. Like, very, very suggestive. Well, now we're in. We are ready. We are large and in charge. Wow, Selfie looks nervous. She's like, guys, I want to fly the ship again. That was kind of scary. What do we do? Selfie, ready to take off? No. So, what, what do we do? Can we go outside? No, no, no. Big sound this way. It's probably them, you know. Them? No, impossible. That voice. Rajin. Ah, it is Squall, you know? Fujin. Shock. Good. Convenient. That's right. Hand over Renoa, you know? No, I'll never hand over Renoa. And we're, n and we're taking Alone. I won't let you resurrect Adele either. You're greedy, you know? Not fair, you know? It's just always, you know? You know? You know? As far as the Fujin's not saying, Rage! Fujin, persuasion! Useless! Seize! She's right, you know? <laughs> Let's go! Uh-oh, another boss battle. You know? <laughs> I'm just gonna put, you know, on a shirt. Final Fantasy. The game of elevators. You know? Fujin. Oh wow, Fujin's actually silent this time. I'm surprised. Alright, let's do this. Oh man, come on. Not bad, Squall. I can see why your Cypher's rival. You know? <laughs> oh man. I'm not, I like this game, I'm not like trying to make fun of it or anything, but this is just hilarious to watch sometimes. You know? My characters are severely underpowered. I lost again, you know? Oh my gosh, this is like hilarious. Well, at least I still got a, at least the Renoa still has a, a good shot at hitting. Alright, we gained 20 AP, we... Fujin, retreat! Temporary! R -r right we're not through yet, you know? You know? <laughs> Come back here! Come back here, you know? Oh, man. Hmm... All right, where did they go? Are we gonna have to fight Cypher again? Cypher, no swiping. Ooh, a save point, you know? All right, no, I'm not gonna know you guys the you knows anymore. Biggs, why the heck do I have to take orders from some kid? Wedge, well, he is our superior. Do you think I know that? Don't you think I know that? I chose the wrong career, being ordered around by some punk <laughs> That's pretty funny. Then why don't you quit and find some other career, sir? Hmm. <laughs> Just kidding, sir. You're right! You're absolutely right! I quit! Wedge. Uh. Wedge. Let's go home and have a drink. Oh. 
What? Me too? Of course. Now come on. But. But. Wow, we just watched like an existential crisis happening. What about our salary? What about our... <laughs> well, it's nice to see that Biggs and Wedge are like done. Like, you know what? We don't... We are tired of being... We are tired of getting our butts kicked all the time by these kids. I haven't taken orders from these kids. I wish they'd join our team, though. We could use some... We could use them. We'll offer a better salary. Um, let's see. I'll take the curve. Mm. Ooh, like we're in a cave now. It's like a crystal cave. There was like there was like an enemy here before that kicked us out, and now they're not there anymore. So I wonder where we go next. Now we're back in the crystal cave. Squall's like, thank you, thank you. I'm the save point. We should probably save just in case. I'm just imagining like a sorceress Adele being here and being like, "Hello, it's me." Do you remember all the things we used to be? Hello from the other side. I must have called a thousand times to tell you I'm sorry for breaking your heart. Alright, we're going the wrong way. I tried going through there and it didn't work. Oh, there they are. We meet again, you know? We'll take you on, you know? No, Margin, I didn't know. I didn't know! Fujin, now, no fight! Next time! Rajin, that's right! We have a surprise, you know? No, Rajin, I didn't know you had a surprise! Oh, hey! That was actually, that was actually a surprise. I was not expecting the green monster again. Alright, let's just kick this thing's butt. Let's kick some butt! I know I'm playing Final Fantasy VIII the wrong way by doing cheat codes, but I can't help it. I <laughs> am enjoying myself so much with this. What I might do, though, is make Squall do the Sustral attack to make the boss battle go a little faster. Um, whose turn does it tell? I, like the, I love this boss battle song, by the way. It's such a great song. Angelo Rush! I forgot about the puppy. That puppy is so cute, and his name is Angelo. Yes, we're gonna do the Rayo Zukan. Rayo Zukan! Alright, come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. I think I have to press R. I forgot what the combo is. Hit! Okay, I only got one hit. Alright, you know what? We are going to fast forward time. And I'm just gonna keep focusing on just hitting Angelo Rush. That dog is adorable. We did it, guys! We did it! We did it. You got kicked out by him last time. Received 40 G AP or whatever it's called. Oh, they ran away. Hey, get back here, guys! Ah, man, like... I feel like video games have taught me how to be confrontational with people. Like... How to be... A hero. <laughs> Squall. We've come to take back Alone. Looks like we've got company. Show them your hospitality. Oh, I didn't even see Cypher. He's like right there on the top of the pillar platform. I didn't even realize that was there. Fujin. Rajin, stop! 
What's up? We've had enough, you know? You know? Oh, wow. Fujin, go. I was not expecting that. Squall, wait outside. Laguna should be here soon. Do you know like how we didn't even get there in the first place? I like how they're just trusting Alone to just be like, you know, wait outside. Like, you know, it's not like Sorceress Adele or Sorceress Ultimeshia or any other monsters are out there. They're going to take you. It's not like, you know, the whole game's looking for you because Sorceress Ultimeshia is going to use you to go further into the past in order to, you know, do that. It's not like, you know, like Squall's totally okay with Renoa being by his side because that's his girlfriend. But for Alone, for the girl that they actually need, for that Ultimeshia actually needs, he's like, you know what? You can go wait outside. You can go, go wait outside. And you know what? No one's going with you. You can go by yourself. You can go wait outside, and uh, if you get kidnapped along the way, then that's our problem. But good luck. Like, I w see that logic, and I'm just like, <laughs> go wait outside. <laughs> you go wait outside, Squall. Like, you know how long it took to even get here? Cypher. Hey, hey, come on, people. Cypher, we're quitting, you know? You know? Don't know what's right anymore, you know? Exactly my thoughts. I thought we were a posse. Posse. We are. We always will be. Because we're a posse. We want to help you. Whatever it takes to fulfill your dream, we're willing to do. But you're being manipulated, Cypher. You've lost yourself and your dream. You're just eating out of someone's hand. You're eating hot dogs. Stop eating the hot dogs. It's too many calories. <laughs> we want the old you back. Since we can't get through to you, all we have now is to rely on is Squall. It's sad. Sad that we only have Squall to rely on. Cypher, are you still going to keep going? Rajin... Fujin, it's been fun. I guess Cypher works alone. Does that mean we're going to have to fight him? Oh, man. Squall. Are you going to continue with this knight thing? Cypher. The knight has retired. What does that mean? I guess you could call me a young revolutionary. What do you think you're doing? I've always got to be doing something big. I don't want to stop. I'm going to keep running. I've come this far. I'm going to make it to the end. To the goal. There's no way I'm sharing it with you. Oh, jeez. Cypher's always got to fight. He's always got to, like... Oh, I got Odin! Odin game! This is a really cool cutscene. Squall. Odin! Ha! I won't go down that easy! Show me what you've got, Squall. Let me add another scar for ya. Oh, cut deep with that one. Screw you, Cypher! Let me add another. Let me add another thing to your head. Like, oh man, so I'm such a bully, and he's like a bully for no reason too. Like, he's just he's just a bully to be a bully. Like, I really wish that they would maybe give us more backstory on Cipher and why he's the way he is, because. Right now, he's just coming across as, like, just a bad guy, just to be a bad guy. Like, a bully, just to be a bully. Like, there's absolutely no reason why they've given us yet, why he acts the way he does. I mean... The only storyline they've given us so far is that Cypher and Manoa used to be exes. And that maybe he's just a jealous ex-boyfriend. But, like, even that doesn't really hold a lot of water to me, because... Squall had no... I, it, it doesn't... I don't know. I'm just really confused by this. Why they're going that direction. By the way, Cypher's not attacking at all. And I'm just really confused why he's not attacking right now. What is going on? What the hell is that? 
You gave me the fourth one. But you didn't give me the fifth. Huh? Was it you? Then dodge my sword. Eat this. Ah! Uh, where the hell did he come from? Where is the dimensional interval? What the hell did I just watch? <laughs> okay, I'm very lost right now. Like, I... I... I I'm kind of like in this state of just pure shock right now. Like, what the? Who the hell was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> I swear, the story just keeps getting more and more random by the second. Like, I'm just in awe right now. I wouldn't be surprised if a giant hot dog man came from this guy and just said, "Like, <laughs> I'm here to take over everything." Renoa, Cipher, now swiping. <laughs> Oh, I thought she was going to say something else. Not yet! It's not over yet, Squall! Renoa. Squall! Renoa? Squall! Cypher took Renoa! Like, okay, I am just think it's really strange to me that they're showing it off camera. Oh, hello. Uh, so, Cephal, you shamer. Shammer. I can see all your chat. Thank you for being here. And yes, I agree. The storyline is really cheesy. And uh, it's also really fun, though. Uh, all right. I think it's funny how they showed... Um, how they how they, how Renoa walks off the camera. And then Squall walks off the camera. And then we're just to assume that he grabbed her. And Squall didn't, like, go after her immediately. Like, like they literally just walked, like, five feet in front of the way from the camera. And we're just to assume that Cypher just, just, just ran off with, like... like the, that was just a really weird cutscene. Squall, let's just go after Cypher. Please make a party of three. So in Final Fantasy VIII, Odin gets killed by Cypher. Odin is supposed to one-shot any battle with his sword. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I've bonded into battles with Odin, and he's one-shotted things. And I'm surprised that Cypher just kills him in one hit like that. Like, that's... Man, I feel like that's that just sucks, because, like, I... When Odin gets killed, I believe it's Gigamesh that takes his place. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, like I said, it's my first time through, so like I have no idea. So Giga basically came after and got Cypher. Oh, I see. Okay, so I see what you're saying. So that so Gigamesh came and then got and 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 then took the place of took the place of Odin. Okay, I see now. Okay, that makes sense to me now. Thank you for explaining that, because that, like, threw me off. I'm like, where did this guy come from, from the sky? Like, I'm I'm just really, really confused right now. That didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> oh, oh, Renoa, I know you're not like that. Can't go back now. I can't go anywhere. The sorceress has won. That is Altmesia's wish. Cypher. Okay, so I, I missed a little bit of it, but I'm guessing that Cypher is trying to bring Renoa to Adele. Because Adele is sleeping still and will be awakened. So, what we have to do is we have to stop Cypher. That's what I'm guessing is what's going on, is what's going on right now. Um, and the game puts it at a save point, so... Alright... I have no clue where to go next. So, let's see. This looks like a ladder, but no. <sighs> let's see. Can we go this way? Well, the music changed, so this has to be it, I guess. Renoa. Cypher. No more. Please. Please stop swiping. I don't have Visa or MasterCard. I have Discover. I, I, that was, I was trying to do like a payment joke. I think I maxed my credit line. <laughs> Cypher. Renoa. Squall. Cypher. No. 
Cypher. <sighs> Renoa and Adele, the sorceresses as one. Watch closely, Squall. By the way, if you use Sophie's special move at the end, you can one shot Ultimeshia. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Wait, Sophie, like selfie, you mean? Wait, Adele is a guy? Have I been assuming Adele is a girl this whole time and it's actually a guy? That was a really cool cutscene. Wow. Adele is like... I mean, despite the fact that he's like a really ultimate powerful like character, he actually looks like a very attractive sorcerer. Like, I'm digging like his his muscular body and stuff, and he's like really tall. Like, I'm really digging the look. Oh wow, he has Renoa on his body like that. That position looks very suggestive to me. Like, just look at the way he has her like that. Like, it almost looks, it, like I said, it looks very, very suggestive. <laughs> I'm gonna put this woman on my, on my, on my chest. <laughs> like, it's very, very suggestive. <laughs> well, we beat Adele. We did it, guys! We did it! <laughs> I wonder if Renoa's possessed now. Laguna and Elena are here! Laguna, Elena, now's your chance! Laguna, okay, Elona, just get Renoa back. I wonder if they did it, if they succeeded. I love this music. Renoa. I was inside Adele. The young Adele. Laguna. Altameshia's inside Adele. Exactly as she wanted. Okay, this is the showdown, folks. Time compression is about to begin. Love, friendship, and courage. Show them what you've got. Oh wow. This is really cool actually. I was not expecting this to be a Final Fantasy like experience. Like what the hell is going on here? Yo, where are we supposed to go? Oh wow, this is gonna be like Kingdom Hearts vibes. Squall. Today is house. I'll probably disappear. Just stay by my side. I won't let you disappear. This is really, like, wild. I mean, I'm imagining being a writer right now and thinking to myself, like, what do we do, we do now? Like, we did time travel, we did space, we did lunar. What, what do we do at this point, guys? And they're just like, um... Let's do time travel, and then after that, we'll do some, like, I don't know, guys, like, maybe we should just get drunk and just write the story down. Imagine, like, this being, like, the college paper you're writing, and you're, like, trying to get to the last page, and you're, like, three pages away from finishing it. I feel like this is, like, the college paper that you're on, like, page seven of ten, and you're like, all right, guys, 
I'm just gonna write just 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 write just write bullshit or excuse my pardon my language. I'm just gonna write BS and uh, <laughs> this is the BS part of the paper. No, I'm just kidding. Like this is actually really well thought out and very like intricate and very uh, well well done. So I'm very curious to see what happens. Um, oh my gosh! Can I save? I can't save. <laughs> This is weird. Oh, 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 was that it? It makes the sound, but doesn't let you save. This is so weird. It makes the sound, but doesn't actually let you save. And now we're back in the where we started. And now there's someone sitting down. Oh, one of them was probably real. Well, too late for that. <laughs> oh, it's a Dea. Uh-oh. Looks like the other battle on our hands. This is scary. Who are we fighting against? Who is this? Is this Ultimeshia? It, it doesn't say. It just says attack. Yeah, it's not telling me who I'm attacking. I wonder who this is. But whoever this is, it's... It's kind of scary. We're just getting teleported to different places. This makes me wonder if this really is Ultimeshia, or like, if this is... A I'm really loving this summon summon. Really crazy and really cool. Okay, this is, yeah, this is crazy. I wonder if this is Ultimeshia. Now there's two again. What the hell are we fighting? Like this is so weird. We went from like a girl in like a weird outfit to like a girl that looks like a weird like circus performer. Oh wow, Christmas died. How did that happen? Um all right, Christus, we're trying to bring you back. I'm not really sure how Christus died. That was weird. Why does Christus keep dying? All right, come on. I think it's because Christus has so low HP. Yeah. Oh, okay. 2K damage. Yeah, I'm gonna- I didn't- I assumed that it wouldn't kill her, but... Alright, good to know. I'll make sure I fix that. So that's why everyone else is staying alive, because my- the HP is too big. I have to fix Quistus's junctions. Alright, come on. I wonder, you know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm gonna see if I can do the. Yeah, I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna do my, like, the way it just. Yeah, exactly. The way she just rubs all over you. Okay, I don't even know if I hit her at all. <laughs> did I hit her? Did I kill her? I think I did. I like how- I like all the Michael Bay explosions that it does. You know, she kinda looks like a drag queen. Like, I'm just expecting this to be like a drag race, like, like, thing at some point. It's Prince? Wait, what? What are you talking- What's Prince? <laughs> what did- what did we just fight? And now where the heck are we? Okay, I have to fix Quistus's 
like junctions and stuff because she's like really really weak right now and I need to give her more I need to give her more uh, like can I do a switch where I can do like a junction exchange or wait a minute maybe Junction... Quistus... Does she not have any... Oh, she doesn't have any GFs. Okay, that's why she's so, like, weak right now. Okay, that well, that makes more sense to me why I was, like... Why it was, like, not working. Okay. Um... Magic... Item... GF. Sure. 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 How come we. I think the GF I equipped for Quistus doesn't have HP. I think. Junction. Magic. Um. I'm trying to figure this out real quick. Okay, that's why. So the ones I picked for Quistus just didn't have the HP. Um, okay. So, maybe I can unequip one of them for... Let me see the ones he has. <sighs> no. Yeah, her vitality is really high. I'm trying to figure out how to give her higher HP. Um, you know what? Screw it. I'll keep the way it is for now, and then I'll just see what's going on. Okay, so we're at Adea's house. And this is the Adea's house before it got, like, destroyed. So, um, there's a cutscene playing now. And there's people. Squall. Future seeds. We're fighting across generations. Now cutscene's playing. Oh, okay. Thank you. So her vitality stat will take her take less physical damage. Thank you for explaining that. I didn't realize. Wow, is this turning into Castlevania now? Like, are we? <laughs> are we gonna have to infiltrate a castle? Squall. So the fact that she has high vitality means she won't take 2k physical damage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She won't get one shot at every time. Squall. Ultimeshia's reign. We have to end it now. Ooh, a drop point. Triple. We can give it to Squall, it's fine. I like the way how I like how we have to travel on these chains. It's so like I like the design. It's really cool, and the anim the chains even animate like that. It's really cool. Ooh, look at those doors. We can jump into them. Oh wow! What the heck? That is crazy. It like put us back in like the present. Weird. You know what, though? We could probably save, because I don't think I saved yet. So, I should probably save, if I can. Yeah, I can save. Oh, they're space-time doors? Okay. Okay, so, they're just space-time doors. They're just, you know, they're just, they're just doors we can go and you can use to travel. Try the other doors. Is there a party in one of the other doors? Is, is that why? Is there a party going on? <laughs> yes, yes, there's an orgy in one of the doors. I don't, I don't, this is just like a... It, this brought us back to like where we originally found... Um, yeah, this brought us back to where we found Odin's... Uh, Odin, so... I love how random it's bringing us to like these random places. Alright, let's try this door real quick. Where's it gonna bring us? Um... Uh, this looks like, I don't actually know where this is. 
What is that place? I don't remember what this place was. Did I even go here? <laughs> it's just an animation place. Okay, okay, well, you know what? Whatever. Uh, let's go back to our time door where we belong. I thought time compression happened, so why does this place even exist? Oh, that might have been Blam Garden. You're right. It's very possible. Or the school. It's possible. And, it, we, and then the university just left. <laughs> it might have been. It might have been. Alright. Let's see. Oh, there's a safe point here. Okay. How long have I been streaming? Has it been a full hour? Um, 50 minutes. Okay, so we got, I, we got like 10 more minutes of stream time left. I'm going to assume that there's a decent chunk of time before between now and when the stream when we have the next save point so we'll see how we'll see what happens okay so let's make our way up and now we have the rest of the group squall good we all made it whoa so this is her castle finally i've never seen anything so creepy you think What's-Her-Face really lives there? We've come this far, she's gotta be here. So this is the future. This is where Altamesia reigns. I don't know what's going on, but since we're still here, I think we still might have some time to finish our job. What are we going to do, Squall? We'll divide into two parties. Uh, well, I want Renoa by my side, but, um, she has really low HP, so we'll just keep the beast keep people for now. I don't want to get one shotted again. <laughs> Alright, let's see. It's a big door. Oh, I love the, like, smoke coming out of the mansion. <laughs> or the castle, I should say. This is so, like, I, I can't believe what's going on right now. Like, this is just... Oh, this is just crazy. The party's powers have been sealed by Ultimeshia's servants. The following powers have been sealed. Item, magic, GF, draw, command ability, limit, break, resurrection, save. Save! Ah! The powers will be sealed while the parties are inside the castle. Well, that's not good. Then we won't be able to save. <laughs> uh, can we leave the castle and save? The seal has been temporarily broken. Okay, then here's what I'm going to do. Since we're running low on time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save for tonight, and then I'm going to stream again tomorrow, and then tomorrow will be the castle. The Dracula... Oh, I meant to say Altamesia's castle. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. I'm really excited. Did I save? I think I saved. Um, so, yeah, a lot happened from between now and when we when I streamed before, earlier. We went to Eshtar. We met the future version of Laguna, Kiros, and Ward, and um, we went to uh, Lunatic Pandora, the giant elevator. We invaded, and we basically talked to Cypher, and he killed Odin. He killed Odin! And then, but then we got a new summon, I think, and after that, uh, we went and fought Adele, which I found out was not a woman. It wasn't a sorceress Adele. It wasn't a man. It, it, I'm sorry. It wasn't a woman. It was a man. A pretty attractive man at that, at that as well. And uh, I thought it was weird how he was like holding Renoa like in such a suggestive way. It was like, like who's working at this company? It's Square Enix and how suggestive they are. Uh, but anyway, uh, after we defeated them, we then... Uh, Renoa did her thing, and then Alone did her thing, and then time compression happened, and then all this crazy stuff happened, and now we're all together, and we're basically in this weird warped version of time, and we're, I think, in the future, and we're trying to say, we're trying to stop Ultimeshia. So, this is crazy. I can't believe what's going on right now. Like, this is, I, I wonder how much longer we have till the end. Like, this is, this is a lot. I can't wait. I'm so excited. This is, this is making me so happy. Um, but anyway, for those of you tuning in, uh, thank you for being here. And for those of you watching post stream, thank you for being here as well. And, uh, once again, I'm the Italian gamer, Joe. Uh, you can find me at Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch here. Uh, we have a discord community. It's Italian gamer, Joe, Italian gamer, Joe. Um, I stream every night for usually just for an hour, uh, between like seven to eight ish. And, uh, on Fridays I have a podcast where I talk about video game news, 
Uh, if you are interested in listening to that, you can listen to me anywhere podcasts are distributed. Um, I also post my YouTube. Uh, I also post the podcast episodes on YouTube, so you're welcome to listen there as well. Uh, once again, I am the Italian Gamer Joe, and I'm signing off for tonight. Buona notte, everybody, and see you next time. Okay, uh, let's see. Just gotta end the stream. Thank you.